Hey, good morning, guys. Um, welcome to today's, um, I suppose, episode. I'm going to talk a little bit, a bit, a little bit today about how you actually build a six-figure consulting business and kind of once you've got there, how do you go beyond that? Um, there's some fundamental things that you need to do and you need to um, understand what these are before you even start out in your consulting business. Well, if you do do if you do understand these and you do them before you start out, you're going to be a whole lot better off for it. Um, so what I'm going to talk about today is like the six-figure consulting evolution. And this is, um, I suppose, the steps that you need to take to get you from a point of, I'm just starting out, to now I've got this business running, now I'm, I've, um, I'm chugging along, and now I want to grow it and I want to take it to kind of the next level, I'm ready to bring on staff, etc., etc. So this is huge um, from a point of view of if you don't do it, you're probably going to get to these points and go, what the heck is going on with me? So let me um, just kind of pre-frame this. And obviously, this is all the stuff that I've learned during my uh, sort of five years of of consulting and doing this and starting this business from scratch. Um, and I look back now and think, holy shit, um, I understand now why I felt this particular way um, each of these phases. So there's essentially four phases that I'm going to talk about. So the first phase is the explorer. The second phase is the igniter. The third phase that you go through is called the champion. And the fourth phase that we want to get to is the architect. And once you get to the architect, that's when you're able to start um, growing your team. Um, you're starting to think about how you get even further ahead. So let, now let me just double back and I'm going to talk about um, each of these in a bit more detail. But also if you um, join, if you click the button, um, type in, in the comment section today, um, interested. We're gonna send you some more detail about how you can join a upcoming um, training that I'm gonna be doing, which is gonna go a lot deeper into all of this stuff. Um, so as you know, I'm in the process of developing an amazing program to help people go from nothing, or if you're already a consultant and you're finding yourself, as I talk through these, you're going, oh my God, that's friggin' me. No wonder I feel that way. Um, I would highly recommend that you join me on uh, the upcoming training because, as I said, I'm going to go a lot deeper into it and you'll get a lot more insight into um, why you're feeling this way and maybe how you can overcome some of the stuff and the specific things that you need to do to transition from one um, one place to the next. So let me just double back. So I'm going to talk about the Explorer. So what is an explorer? So this, the explorer is the person who just is starting out in business. You're probably dabbling a little bit. Um, and these are people that are usually um, have, are earning somewhere between zero and $40,000 a year. Um, and in the grand scheme of things, when we look at the entire market, or actually look at the American market, which is a great place for us to kind of start, there's loads and loads of people in that, um, in that space. And, and you're likely to be there too when you're first starting out. That's a critical point because you're dabbling um, and you know the things that, that prevent you from moving forward in this space when you are just starting out and you're in that zero to $40,000 a mark um, uh, income bracket when you're dabbling is that you're going to have a whole lot of distractions because what happens is you're going to get into this world and you're going to start being... Um, lured by all these different shiny objects and all of a sudden you're off down at one path and there's this whole world opens up and all of a sudden it's really exciting and we go we go hunting and looking and, and we found all this cool stuff about Facebook advertising and and um, you know how to grow my business online and how to, to um, generate you know how to make fancy um, lead magnets and all the new tools and apps that are available that's a really um, exciting place to be but it's also a really dangerous place to stay and so if you don't um, you don't transition and you don't do some fundamental things at that point you'll find yourself continually in that cycle of dabbling and uh, and and finding yourself being super distracted by other things so there's certain things that you need to do to get you to, to um, kickstart you out of the Explorer phase and to shift you from being that explorer into being the igniter. So this is where things start to get a little bit exciting for um, you as a consultant and a freelancer because at the igniter phase, you're now earning somewhere between forty dollars and $100,000. And for most people when they're in this phase, they're doing it probably part-time. 
So it's kind of not your full time gig. Um, you, you're still, you know, trucking along, but you're not fully immersed in it. And at this point, you are kind of, at this point, because you've done a whole lot of dabbling, you've made a little bit of a transition, you're now in that igniter phase. You're starting to think to yourself, and you um, what the heck is wrong with me? Why the hell can't I get any further? What am I doing wrong? Um, you're seeing other people online or in your circle that are doing really, really well, and you're wondering, why can't I do that? What the hell is wrong with me? Um, there's nothing wrong with you. That is quite normal. But again, there are certain things that you need to do at this point. You need to recognize that. And then there's certain things that you need to do to, again, transition you out of that phase and then into the champion phase. So once you get to champion, this is where things start to really heat up. And this is where you are actually at the point where you are earning that six-figure income so these are the uh, these are you guys who are the consultants and freelancers who are earning somewhere between a hundred and three hundred thousand dollars now by this point you absolutely should be in your consulting business and doing this full time um, and by this time you're thinking about you're probably working a lot of hours you know you're you're um, feeling it rather overwhelmed and exhausted and you're wondering to yourself oh my god I can't continue to do this on my own forever. This is just not sustainable. How do I get myself ahead? What is it that I have to do? Um, and again, there is a fu some fundamental shifts that need to happen when you get to that champion point. And once you get these down pat, then you'll be able to move to the next phase. And the next phase is where you're now starting to earn multiple six figures. And this is the phase that we call the architect. So once you get to the architect point, you are now running in overtime. So you thought you were busy before. Now, oh my gosh, you're even more busier um, than you were previously. You've got a whole lot of staff on. Um, you've become, you know, the pivotal point in your team. They're all coming at you from all angles, asking you different questions. You thought it was the right thing to do by bringing on a whole lot of people. And all of a sudden, your world has just blown up because now you've got, instead of it just being you, you've now got to teach you know, five, six, seven, eight different people um, what to do, how to do it, when to do it, etc., etc. So there's certain things at that point that you need to do to get your um, to get your sanity back. So I'm going to talk through in my training that's coming up um, how to get further ahead. I'm going to go deeper into these four uh, consulting that evolution that you need to make so that you can very easily become. A, that first six-figure uh, consultant, which gets you to igniter phase, and then what you've got to do to move you from that igniter all the way through to champion. So just to recap, the four areas or the four um, transition points that you need to make as a consultant and an owner of your business is you're going to become the explorer. You then need to shift through and become the igniter. You're going to then become the champion, and then you'll be the, uh, the architect, and it's the architect where we want to get you to. Once you've got there, you're kind of around that um, million dollar business mark, and then there are other phases uh, there on. But in my training, I'm going to talk to, talk you through those four phases and just talk you about um, the specific things that you need to do to shift or make that that pivot in each of those different phases and how you can do it really quickly and how to rec excuse me recognize when you're in one of those particular um, phases of your business. So all you've got to do today is, is just comment in the comment section that you're interested. Um, my team will then reach out to you and give you some more detail about how you can register for our upcoming training. Um, we will let you know when it's on, but you do need to register. I will only have a very limited number of seats because I can only deal with a certain number of people at any one time. So just make sure you click, um, you comment in this the comment section uh, with the word interested and uh, the team will reach out to you and let you know what the next steps are. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, good luck in your consulting journey. And uh, if you want to stay tuned for more, uh, hopefully, insightful videos, please do so and I'll be sure to share them. Have an awesome day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.